have seen this many cars here to get into the parking. This is crazy. I don't understand. We're almost there. Can you guys see that? There's literally so many cars behind me. So you have to obviously like get, you have a special card to um, park for free um, and to have like access. These are the moments that make us who we are. Hands to the sky, we light up the night like the 4th of July. Nothing to highlight your fire burn bright. Cause these are the moments we're living for. Oh, this is what we're living Good morning. So we're gonna go. How did that just happen? My trunk just opened and I was walking away from my car. I don't understand. That would have literally been so bad. Okay. The air. Oh my god, it just happened again. Alright, car keys. You're going somewhere else. So you have Air One today. I've had Air One the past two days, so I'm like exhausted. I'm just gonna stand here and wait for the bus. It's pretty early. You guys can't tell by how I look. I couldn't wear mascara anymore. My eyes were just so dry. I just couldn't do it. Out. If you are like Mainline United, you have on your side, um, you have an elevator to bring your stuff up. But if you're not Mainline United, which I'm not, you have to carry it up all those stairs. So that's how I get my workout in of the day. Oh. So I know, um, I'm gonna do a video on mainline versus regional airlines, but I do not work for mainline. Um, but yeah, I'll go over that more in the video, but if you go on one of my flights, you do think that you're on a United flight, so. That's why I had the United tag and everything. Oh, it is dead in here. The best thing to have when you're in airport reserve is a seat that is right next to an outlet. So I love it when I can get this seat because like I'm in here all day. I I need these outlets. I need them for my devices. So um, yeah, I'm just going to hang out in here. No one else is in here, which I thought someone else would be, but I actually didn't even see that on my briefing. So I am going to edit some videos. And then, um, hopefully get them up. I haven't been flying a lot the past few, 
like past week or two. He did use me on a turn the other day, but what was interesting, so I was in here on the first day of reserve, on my first day of airport reserve, and then um, it was like 6 a.m., and someone was behind me sleeping, and so I left all the lights off in here because, you know, I you never know if someone's a commuter and if they had to sleep here overnight, and you just... Like, rest is so important. I mean, he could have slept in the restroom. I don't know why he didn't. But, um, he was sleeping out here, so I left all the lights off because I didn't want to wake him up or anything. And then his phone went off. And, like, I heard it leave a voicemail. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that was crew scheduling. And then they called me. And I was like, they were like, our flight attendant didn't show up. We need you to go to Canada. And so I said to them, I was like, there's actually a flight attendant in the crew room sleeping. And, because I had met him before, he's super nice. And, um, they were like, oh, I was like, do you, they were like, is it a guy? And I said, yeah. And I was like, do you want me to wake him up? And they were like, yeah, we can put him back on the trip. And I didn't know this, but like, if you no call, no show, like, obviously that's a big no-no. Um, but, so I woke him up and, oh, I felt so bad. He was so out of it. And I was like, hey, like, um, your flight's gonna take off soon, like, I think you overslept, and, um, so he was able to go, and I felt so much better when I found out that, um, he would have gotten in trouble. So, yeah, woke him up, so I didn't do that, but then, like, a few hours later, they called me to do a turn in, they called me, I did a deadhead to, where was I? I don't even know where I deadheaded to. Well, I deadheaded there. God, where was it? Oh, I was, I deadheaded to Springfield, Missouri. And then I worked the flight back and then I was done. Um, but that's the only time they've called me. And honestly, like, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of work, but sitting here, it's just really draining. Waking up that early and like, when you don't keep going, like for me, if I keep going, like I'll be awake. But since I woke up so early and now I don't do anything, like, I'm just so tired. Can you hear the raspiness in my voice? <clears throat> I had to call in sick the other day, and I feel like I'm still sick, so. Um, they always say in flight attendant training, if it, like, your ears are hurting from being sick, like, not to fly. Because, I mean, that's just not good for your ears. Oh, I got a new lanyard, guys. So, um, I love, I watch a lot of flight attendant, uh, videos and everything, um, just cause I find them so interesting and, um, I was watching The Pretty Passenger. I'll leave her name below. I love watching her. She's so nice. She had gotten, her lanyard was from a store called Brighton and I had seen a lot of people wearing the, that sort of lanyard. So, um, when I was in Dallas the other day, I saw there was a bright in there and I had like four hours at the airport so I picked one up this is the one that I got it just looks like this and it's super cute I think it's much like classier looking than just wearing like the regular fabric lanyards so um I'll leave the name of it listed below but it just looks like that I thought it was super cute so yeah I do not work for mainline um I will totally cover this way more in my mainline versus mainline and regional, the difference between mainline and regional video, um, but I do not work for mainline. I work for a regional airline, um, so I fly United Express flights. The reason I had all those United things was because, um, one, my company does not make cute tags, not at all. And two, when you are on one of my flights, you are booking it through United. Everything says United. You know, you get the point. So, um, my apron, it says United. So, it's, I'll go way more into this. So, yeah. So, I do not work for Mainline. I work for a regional carrier. Um, but I am looking to work for Mainline. So, if any of you guys are past flight attendants and I, I'm looking into American and Delta. So yeah, if any of you guys are past flight attendants for either of those companies, please feel free to send me an email um, or leave a comment below because I have 
Um, because I'd like to talk to someone because I have never met someone that works for Delta. Mainly if any of you guys have worked for Delta or do work for Delta, um, if you could shoot me an email, I'd really appreciate it. So, um, it is the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I am going to be doing a haul because I think it's Dina. Deanna? Okay. I don't know. Um, she's been a subscriber for a while now. She commented and was like, are you going to do an anniversary sale haul? And because that's how she found me last year or two years ago. I think it was last year. Um, how she found my channel. So yes, I will be doing one. I swore I was not going to buy a lot. There was one thing I was going to get that didn't work. It's just, it's such a good sale, and I'm always someone who's like, God, Nordstrom is so expensive without the sale. Like, a t-shirt, you'll pay $70 sometimes, um, but that's obviously not all the time, um, but there's just some really good deals, so I ordered some stuff online. Once that comes in, I will be sharing it, and then Matthew and I went the past two nights <laughs> to the store, so he got some things. Maybe I'll include that in the haul, too. Okay, I've been talking for 10 minutes. I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to edit this video and then check back in with you guys in a little bit. You guys know these days aren't too exciting. Um, so I really need to do an updated makeup tutorial. But I've been obsessed with this highlighter lately. It's by Dior and it's the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 003. The mirror. But how beautiful is that packaging? And then I've used so much of this. But... It's so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. So, you guys are always asking me what highlighter I'm using, and it's been this. It just gives like the prettiest glow. Especially when you're like looking tired and everything. Let's see, should I put some color on my lips? <sighs> just gonna put on the Dior Addict Lecker Lipstick in 420 Underground. packaging so sleek. Just has like the right amount of color. So easy to apply. Didn't even put on a lip liner. Moisturizing. So nice. Okay. I'm just vlogging. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I get, I feel these hairs right here. Where did I get these black hairs from? You see them? Yeah, I saw that one. Oh my God. Just like one. Where did they come from? I no, there's know. like two. Season five, episode 16. So even with this thing covering my windows, it is so stinking hot. What's the temperature? 96. 96 degrees. Ah. I just got back to my car. I'm sweating. I literally got in the car like five seconds ago and I'm sweating. Um, oh, it's hot. 96. So, once again, didn't get called. Um, so I just... Uh, got an email with some really great news that I can't wait to share with you guys. I can't share it yet, but I will be soon. Um, is it like crooked? Or is my hand crooked? I don't know. But I can't wait to share that news with you guys. I'm going to wait uh, a few more days and then I'll let you guys know. So I forgot to tell you guys this this morning. I was walking out of the house to get to my car and I was at Matt's place. And all of a sudden, 
I hear something like moving in the woods. I was like, what is that? Like I, I got kind of scared. And I was like, it's probably a bunny, Carrie. Like get over it. And then all of a sudden, right in front of me, runs a skunk. A skunk. Like, could you imagine if, like, I had gone to, like, see what it was or something, and it had sprayed me? Oh, my gosh. So, it ran right past me, and I, like, went so fast because, like, kind of stopped in the bushes. I was like, I'm not getting sprayed today. That is not happening. That would not be good. I've never, that's never happened to me before. Like, uh, it was so close to me. Thank gosh it was dark out because... If it would have seen me, I really hope it wouldn't have gotten scared. I don't really know how they react. I've never encountered a skunk. So yeah, that is it for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Can't leave ready to get called out again. Always when I vlog with you guys, I don't get called out. Maybe one day it'll be interesting for Airport Reserve. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog for Airport Reserve because I know you loved the last one so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.